Hey guys, give it to the end to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you in detail how I ship my packaging. I'm talking about we're about to go look on my computer screen. We're about to do a sample order. Like we're about to do it all so that y'all can get a clear understanding of how to ship. As you know, I own a lash brand by the name of Blink and Wink Minks and I ship orders through Shopify. So I just wanted to show y'all how to do it. And yeah, get your notepads ready and let's go ship some orders okay so what i'm going to do is walk you through a normal order so that you can see what it would look like when the shipping pops up okay so here we are on my lash site i'm just going to go to shop and then i have set up a product that we are going to use for an example so it's going to be this sample lash so let's say a customer wanted to purchase one pair of lashes for me and they're going to check out with paypal i want to show y'all paypal just because if you're going to offer paypal on your site most people will pick paypal just because they feel that paypal is safe so i'm just going to blur out this information but this is just me checking out and then it's going to redirect them back to the shipping page this is with shopify so now it's showing me the shipping methods that I can pick. So if this was a customer, they would get these three shipping options from me. You will set up your own shipping within the shipping settings in Shopify or whatever site you're going to use. So you can get standard shipping, which is five business days for $5. USPS priority mail, which is three business days for $6 or usps priority mail express one business day 22 dollars. so the last one would essentially be rush shipping this is just going to be regular priority mail and then standard shipping will be first class mail which is what i ship so i ship all my packages first class mail which is standard shipping so they have five business days to get the package more than likely they get the package package between two to four days so it looks really good because it's like oh i was expecting five days but i got it in two so it looks really good so to me first class shipment is really good so they said that they wanted standard shipping and then we're going to go to continue to payment they have already decided that they're going to pay with paypal um there's no discount code even if it was a discount code the discount code would come off of the price of the lashes and not the shipping price the shipping price will always remain the same unless you're going to offer free shipping now i do offer free shipping over 35 so if they would have gotten that item over 35 free shipping would have appeared on Shopify, free shipping only appears if the customer goes over the $34.99 limit. And that's just something, again, that you set up in your settings. You're going to put um, what you want your shipping to be, and I can show y'all that. Okay, so now uh, the customer is ready to check out, and you're just going to complete order. So it says your order is being processed, if not automatically redirected, blah, blah, blah. So the order was confirmed. So they ordered, they got an order number, and they're waiting on you to ship the items. One thing that's really good about Shopify is that you can allow your customers to add um, their phone number and get updates by text and by email. So if the if the package gets delivered and they're not home they will see that the package got delivered and it just tells them the customer information things like that so now let me go in on the on my side of things and show y'all okay i searched this order just so that i can uh, move everything else out the way so that we can see this without me having to blur everything out so this is the order i just made and it says unfulfilled so i'm going to click unfulfilled click on it and then I will go to create shipping label then once I'm at create shipping label we go down and then it's asking me how much does this package weigh so they have saved package or custom package um, you save whatever package you want right here so then I know that this package is going to wear a weigh three ounces go down right here 
the customer paid five dollars for standard shipping so it's telling me right here the customer paid five dollars this says that the usps first class mail is one dollars and thirty cents you're not sending anything by the mail this is like just regular mail like an envelope so you're sending a package right here the package that i'm sending off is going to cost me two dollars and 66 cents to send this package off okay then i have some other shipping options i have priority mail remember that was the 6.95 that if they would have paid for that that's what that would have cost and then i have the priority mail express and ups so i can pick whatever type of shipping i want to pick because this is how my shipping services is set up so then i would essentially click buy shipping label and um once you buy i'm not gonna buy the shipping label because this package isn't going nowhere obviously but once you click this button it will then download the shipping label and then you will print it off and then you will put it on your package take it to the post office get a receipt it already comes with a tracking number because you purchased the shipping label on shopify so everything will already update for you you don't have to worry about any other tracking number for your customer or anything like that and your customer will then get a notification that their order has been fulfilled and then they will receive a tracking number so out of the five dollars i spent two dollars and 66 cent on shipping now why my shipping price is five dollars is because it gives me a little bit of wiggle room so if this package was seven ounces let's see how much it will cost to ship it it will cost me three dollars and 18 cents to ship it and then if it was 12 ounces let's see how much it will cost to ship it cost me $3.82 to ship it. Why my shipping is $5 is because I'm including the cost of my shipping um, materials. So my envelope, and my thank you card, my business card, you know, those are costs that I'm going to include in the shipping because that is what I am shipping with my lash. So my lash box and the physical lash is included in the product is included in the price of the actual lash but the materials i use to ship such as my envelope and my thank you card and my business card those items are in my um shipping costs those are calculated in my shipping costs so you need to figure out how you're going to pay for your materials okay, so now that shipping is explained i want to answer some questions that i have gotten about shipping so the first question which one out of drop shipping and packaging the orders yourself is better so i kind of explained this a little bit in my live but when it comes to drop shipping you don't have control over what they are sending and you don't have control over how the presentation looks so for example if you are working with a wholesale company in china they're more than likely the one shipping the product you don't know what the actual product looks like for example if you were selling hair you can't physically touch the hair before it's sent off you just have to trust that your vendor is good enough to <laughs> send your customer some good hair and also you can't put you know your touch on the packaging they may send it in just a regular aliexpress dhl um envelope versus if you or packaging it yourself you would do it with love you will package your items with love because you spent your hard time you know making this product building this business so you're going to package your products with love so you're going to have a uh, colored theme boxes you're going to have your business card you're going to have a thank you card you might have a handwritten thank you card you want to make it personal so that's one thing that's kind of mm, about drop shipping just because like you don't know how they're packaging your items and uh, you may be able to send them your packaging and they they'll package it for you but still it's not you you're not physically touching the product so you can't really do quality control over the product if that makes sense okay so the next question i get is where did i find these envelopes from these envelopes i purchased off ebay i purchased them a hundred at a time i will have the link down below they're really cute and i like that they're gold but not like that super shiny gold color i think this goes well with my gold and purple boxes let me show you i'm talking but i ain't showing y'all so this is what my box looks like 
this is what the box looks like and it's like purple and gold so these go really well and then i put okay let me show y'all how i packed it really quickly so this is the lash itself and then it then goes in this bag like so this has my logo on it so this is what the customer initially pulled out to get into their lashes i wanted them to just have something that had a little mm, to it like these lashes are fancy okay so <laughs> this is really cute these came from a vendor on aliexpress my vendor please don't ask me who my vendor is y'all need to do the research and find a vendor yourself sorry the air came on and also within the packaging they will receive my business cards which is also super glam but yeah these came off amazon these came off ebay i'll have a link down below for it and another question i got was do you have to use shipping labels or can you hand write your shipping addresses you can but then the downside to it is that what if the up usps carrier can't read your handwriting so you may have five three two eight but your five look like a two so like 2328 and then it get delivered somewhere else i just like to use the shipping labels because i know that the address is whatever the customer put in because the customer typed it and the shipping labels is just printing off whatever the customer put in so if the shipping is wrong it's on the customer and it's not on me because you enter the address you clicked okay you said it was your address so it doesn't fall back on you but if you handwrite it you don't really know who fault it was if they don't receive the item you don't know if it's you you don't know if it's theirs and then with the tracking the tracking is automatically updated with if you purchase the shipping labels through shopify versus if you purchase the shipping labels at the post office you did have to go home and enter those tracking numbers and who's to say you won't lose the receipt then your customers will never get a tracking number so i think it's better to just purchase shipping labels i have a photo right here because i don't have the container that mine came in but it's just pillable paper that you could um print out of your printer it's pretty cheap it's like five dollars for i think 10 sheets and then you can also order them off ebay so i have a link for ebay and then the ones that you can just purchase from walmart i don't have a shipping label machine just because i haven't got that high of a volume yet to be purchasing one of those but i just print it from my um okay guys so that will wrap up this video i hope y'all enjoyed it leave a comment down below what are you struggling with with shipping leave a comment down below so we can chat don't forget to click that subscribe button and thumbs up this video if you guys enjoyed it so that let me lets me know that i'm making the right kind of content for you and i will see you in my next video bye